It's July, there are a bunch of new red light therapy products, there's also new articles, new science, and I also have a lot of new content. Also, I have a favor to ask, I need some uh, advice, input, input's the right word, uh, we'll talk about that later in the video. Let's get started with new products. First up, Lock Blue Light now have three stands for their body panels, wall panels. Uh, they got a wall mounted bracket, a floor stand. It's good because when I did my comparison series, I think they only had one or two. So they've now, I believe they're now matched uh, Platinum LED with the same amount of stands. Maybe they don't have the articulating stand. But anyway, head over to Block Blue Light. By the way, I should mention, I'm affiliated with a lot of red light therapy companies. I also get discounts for a lot of them for you guys. All the discounts are down below. If you want to order anything, use the discount links or the codes you save. I get a commission, it helps pay for this content. Everything I've mentioned is going to be down below as well. Speaking of stands, Mino Red Light have just released their new tabletop stand. This is a big improvement on their old stands. I cover it in my recent interview with uh, Scott from Mino Red Light. It's always been something I haven't liked about the Mino Red Light tabletop stands. It didn't color match, it was a bit bulky. so. Uh, it's good to see they've finally improved this. Actually, there's a few things I need to talk about with Mito Red Light. So uh, they now have pulsing. This is quite a big change because years ago when I did an interview with Scott, he said they'd never use pulsing. Well, now they have it. So this is in their new, um, I think it's the X range. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, their panels now have pulsing. They're also selling their intranasal device. Again, this is something I looked at in the uh, interview I had with Scott. Uh, this is on their website under the Mito Mind uh, helmet, which I'm about to review as well. So be sure to subscribe for that. And they're selling their hydrogen water product. It's totally unrelated to red light therapy, but hey, uh, some people asked about it from my interview. So links are all down below. Now, Red Light Rising have come out with a new panel series. This panel actually includes uh, inbuilt dosing modes, I guess you'd call it, like we saw in the Rio panel. So they're now the second company to offer panels like this. I wouldn't be surprised if in a year's time there's at least half a dozen. Links are all down below. I will be reviewing their panels soon. Plus, they've just set up an EU warehouse. So this is great for those of you who live in Europe and want to get faster delivery and don't want to worry about border duties and all of that. They've got an article that explains the new setup. Links are all down below. Oh, and this has just come in. Infraridi now have a new 2024 lineup, panel lineup. And uh, yeah, there's a few new features in there. And guess what? They've also got preset uh, dosing modes. So there we go. We're at three already and it's only been a minute. This new panel has five wavelengths, pulsing. Um, I'm actually gonna get one and uh, review it. So we'll cover more details when I have that panel. Also Bond Charge have come out with a red light therapy wand. Uh, speaking of wands, my Fugia wand review will be out soon. My Solar Wave wand review is already out. And Sierra Thrive have released a little course for red light therapy and brain health. Highly recommend checking that out. They should be shipping their their unit pretty soon as well. As soon as I know more, I'll, I'll be sure to put a post up in the Facebook group. By the way, jump in there if you haven't already. There's like 9,000 people in there. If you enjoy these videos, I highly recommend heading over to Light Therapy Insiders and getting into our newsletter because not only do we share a, mu a bunch of awesome articles uh, in that newsletter, we also, or Bart, does a really good job of looking at science and doing his own uh, analysis on that. There's a lot of content that isn't worthy of a dedicated blog article, uh, but it's a bit too long for, say, a Facebook post, so we package it up in this newsletter. So I highly recommend jumping on that newsletter. Links are all down below. Okay, new articles. Well, first up, uh, Vlight are now FDA registered, which is quite a big thing. I mean, it's it's huge. So I've done some videos on VLight recently. I'm still using my VLight Duo for an experiment, which still has another month or two to run. Uh, and I believe they've come out with some new products as well. So I'll get my hands on some of them and, and do a review. But this is really cool if you're looking for a device to help with the brain, you know, cognitive performance, whatever it may be. Uh, VLight are becoming the, the go-to brand here. They've got the studies, they've got the FDA clearance, they've got the team, they've got the experience, they've got some really good products. So yeah, good stuff. Platinum LED have actually published an article about how they won the 2024 comparison series. Of course, this is 
the series that I produced. Um, so yeah, go me. Uh, they've also got an article on red light therapy for gum healing. So check that out if you're interested. Now, Thor Laser, uh, this is the company that creates the Nova Thor bed, uh, James Carroll, who I interviewed recently. Uh, they've come out with an article on how their Nova Thor was used for fibromyalgia. Uh, we've also posted our own breakdown of that study in a recent newsletter. Um, again, jump on the LTI, Light Therapy Insiders newsletter. There's some amazing content going out in that newsletter. Light Path LED have an article looking at their regular diesel line compared with the panels with the uh, blue and red combo. So it goes into the benefits of the blue light. Uh, a lot of people think the Biomax is the only panel with blue, but no, Light Path LED have a panel with a lot of blue LEDs in it. And I know Scott Kennedy from Light Path LED is a, is a big fan of blue light, not just for the acne uh, benefits, but for a whole other range of benefits. So check that out if you want to know more about blue light. Kenyon have published an article on red light therapy for the vagus nerve, which is quite interesting because they are coming out with a vagus nerve related product in the coming months. I interviewed Forrest Smith recently. That will be out soon, if not already, uh, where he talks about that in a bit more detail. So uh, be sure to subscribe to Hear that interview when it's live. Neuronic have published a few articles uh, and overviews of their new products, uh, how you can customize it, and also a bit about their three month consultation program and how you can do the QEEG scans. So there's lots of details there. I'm hoping to do an updated review on their new helmet uh, where I'll include all of this key information. So hang around for that. Recently in the Facebook group, there was a post uh, from a woman who did a before and after uh, showing her skin changes after using two devices. She was using the Platinum LED Biomax 300 and the Kineon Move Plus Pro, the two panels that I personally use uh, myself, I've reviewed, I highly rate them. And yeah, she had some amazing results. Now, I'm not gonna go into details in terms of what she was doing and how and all of that for two reasons. Firstly, she touches on it in the Facebook post itself so i'll put a link to that down below but secondly i i did a little interview with her to get a bit more details and a bit more information and i've packaged that up in a separate video which will be up pretty soon so hang around for that but yeah if you haven't seen this uh before and after it's it's quite remarkable actually the photo she's put up in the facebook group it's actually uh, a, an after before typically you see the before first hey if you're enjoying all of this hit the like button and subscribe every month i do a video like this actually every week i do two videos uh so subscribe to be notified of those videos but yeah if you just want the key overview then just hang around for the monthly news video and um you're gonna know what i'm produ producing what's new all the good stuff okay so this month's study we look at that Novathor um article science article that i referred to earlier now bart actually did a really extensive breakdown on this study in our newsletter i know i've touched on this two or three times now but more reason to jump on that newsletter but anyway the results of this study were simply remarkable now you know what? i'm not even going to go into it we're, we're going to do this in a week after this video goes out we're going to send out a one-off newsletter with Bart's breakdown of this study. Um, maybe he'll throw in some extra info as well. Uh, so head over there and that's where you can get a full breakdown because it's going to be a 20 minute session if I, if I go through all of these notes. What's really interesting though is I recently spoke to James Carroll uh, from Novathor and he was sharing some really interesting insights on athletes who are using the Novathor. All sorts of metrics. Uh, the interview will be out soon. I'm not saying you need to get a Novathor for these benefits. I'm saying red light therapy is, is is legit i mean the research is there at the same time i personally would kind of like a Novathor, even though i have all these panels behind me i think a Novathor would just be kind of cool because hey it's like this epic bed and you just lie in it and it's worth a hundred thousand dollars so it has to be good for you right but watch this space maybe i can uh, save up for one or, or get one to review at least uh who, who knows all right so let's move on to the q a section so the question goes, hey Alex and the LTI team, I saw you going to PBM 2024 in August. What do you think you'll learn there? Right, so PBM 2024 is the big yearly or every second year I think it's held. Uh, it's a big medical event on all things red light therapy. You get the top scientists, top researchers, uh, top companies involved in the space for three or four days. 
uh, they're all meeting up in London. I will be there. James Carroll will be there. Bart will be there. Uh, I'm hoping to do a bunch of interviews. I've done a few little videos on it before. Um, links are all down below. Hopefully you can get there as well. If you are, uh, let me know. So anyway, um, yeah, what, what can we expect from this? So first up, there are a lot of very knowledgeable speakers attending. I'm hoping to, uh, of course, I'll be watching their presentations, but I'm hoping to do some interviews with some of them. And Bart does a wonderful job at these events of pretty much distilling the key takeaways and packaging that up into a newsletter and an article. So there we go again, another plug for the newsletter. Uh, so if you can't make it, of course, uh, hang around for that article. But if you look at the speaker list, I mean, let's look at some of the names. We've got Professor Reem Hanna, uh, who spe specializes in uh, laser dentistry. We've got Professor, oh gosh, I don't know how to say his name, Benesuddin, I apologize. He specializes in red light therapy and cancer care. Um, Professor Arani is more focused on lab research and photobiomodulation. Uh, so they'll all be sharing their findings. You know, this is cutting edge, maybe information that hasn't even hit the research uh, journals yet. So there's going to be a lot of amazing up and coming findings shared. Of course, we'll get to mingle with these people. There's a lot of networking events. You get some, you know, firsthand experiences and firsthand knowledge. Uh, and I'll be trying to get more practical takeaways like, yeah, the, the science is cool, but what does it mean for you and I at home with a panel or a torch, you know? Uh, that, that's what I'm trying to get and what I'm trying to share with the community. There's also a heap of companies who will be exhibiting there. Now, some of the companies like V-Light, uh, you know, I've covered in the past, um, but of course I'll be doing more work with them, especially when I see them in person. But there's also a lot of companies that I haven't heard of before. So no doubt there'll be more product reviews, uh, interviews, all that good stuff. So that's what I'm hoping to get from it. And that's what I'm hoping to bring back for you guys. All right, more interviews, more products, more practical tape takeaways, more interesting tidbits. All right, so what about uh, my channel and updates from me? So I mentioned at the start of the video, I do have a bit of a favor to ask. Now over in the Facebook group, I every few weeks I'll do a post asking for feedback from people who have purchased from one of the big red light therapy panel companies. Uh, I'm trying to get a bit of, yeah, I mean, like a mini review, uh, if you had a good experience or a bad experience, to share that in the space. Because people always ask me, oh, what do you think of this company? What's their customer service like? I can't comment on that because I don't know. Uh, I've done a video on this exact topic. If I reach out to a company, they will give me the red carpet, you know, gold plated service because they want to impress me because then if I say good things, you know, I'll say it on the channel. So I can't really look at this myself. So what I've decided to do is for the sake of trying to help the community and help people find the best product for their needs. Uh, I've put all the key companies up. Um, I'll put a link to, to all the posts down below. If you've purchased from any of these companies, Motor Red Light, Platinum, Block Blue Light, Rodeo Therapy, Rouge, Infrared, Carla, you know, any of those companies, and you have had a good experience, a bad experience, an indifferent experience, please can you just go through and just click that vote. Uh, if I get enough, like, you know, 20, 30 votes for each post, I might actually do a little wrap up review uh, and share the findings. So I, I, yeah, I really, really do um, appreciate you taking the time to do that. And I really want people who have had like just a, yeah, it was a good experience, nothing remarkable, nothing back. I really want that feedback because typically what you see with the reviews is you get the glowing reviews or the really bad reviews. I want, I want everything. I want the glowing, the bad, but also the mid pack. Yeah. I mean, I was happy with it. There were no issues. It worked as expected. Um, so yeah, if you purchased a panel recently or in the last few years, links are down below. Um, I really appreciate that. Other updates, I am working on my body panel comparison. I'm gonna have, I think, five panels now, the Royo 3600, the Rouge Ultimate, uh, the Block Blue Light Elite, uh, one from Mitre Red Light, which hasn't arrived yet, and then the Biomax 900 quad setup. I'm gonna compare them in a not super intensive, just a, I don't know, uh, it'll still be a, probably a half an hour video. That should be out soon. Um, I'm doing dedicated independent reviews of each one first. But yeah, hang around for the full wrap up. And then finally, uh, I wanna talk about the Energy Vitamin D device. Now this interview went out uh, about a month ago and um, 
It was rather controversial. Uh, look, I'll be, I'll be completely honest. I went into that interview knowing nothing, like literally nothing. I was over in Phoenix. Um, I was with Scott from Mitre Red Light. He said, hey, you should chat to these guys. They know a lot about uh, vitamin D and they've got a really unique product. And I was like, sure. I literally sat down with them, went in blind. And I was very impressed and I, I, got, I decided I'd buy the product and I'd do a re review and um, yeah, talk about it. Now, part of the reason I bought it was because I'd recently done a vitamin D test and my numbers were quite low. Well, I say recently, about three months prior. Uh, anyway, I got the device, I'm back home, I went into the doctors, get another vitamin D test and my numbers were now really high. This is prior to using the device and I haven't been taking supplementation or anything. So... I don't know what's going on here, but um, I decided, you know what, because my vitamin D levels are high, my review is not really going to work. Second thing is we're actually moving countries and uh, we're only taking a few suitcases. So I'm like, this is quite a bulky thing. I don't really want to take it if I don't have to. Third thing is I realized after that interview went out that yes, I did spend a lot of money. It was like seven or $8,000, I think, or maybe a bit less uh, after using the discount, which they shared, which was quite a generous discount but I thought it's a lot of money I mean I like a commenter said in that video in the interview you could buy a lot of vitamin d supplements for that and it's a very good point so I'm actually returning that device but what's interesting is the energy device has now come down quite dramatically in price it's a lot lower than it was in that interview so it's quite interesting how that's happened so fast uh, it's good news uh, though because yeah it looks like a good product so that's just a bit of an update on that otherwise what else is upcoming well i have eight interviews eight interviews on red light therapy so i've decided i'm going to publish one every week for the next two months or so so you'll get two videos a week as normal every uh every week you'll get an interview so it's going to be great stuff some great listening uh what else do we have we have the huga one review coming up uh this is to be honest, I think a much better and much better value version of the solar wave wand. We also have my first impressions after using a mito red light bed. And of course we have the PBM 2024, which I talked about earlier happening in August. So those are all coming up soon. Now, maybe you missed my review of the Royo Therapy 3600 or the Rouge Ultimate. These are the big giant panels. Uh, there is one over there. It's massive. Uh, those reviews are up. Check them all out. We have my interview with Scott from Mito Red Light. Of course, the interview with the energy guys. We have my solar wave review. And um, yeah, I think there's one or two other videos as well. All of them you can see on my channel. Oh, and also over at Light Therapy Insiders, Bart has published some really great articles. Uh, one of the best is his article, 14,000 words on eye health. Now it's an epic. I also did an interview with him. so. That'll be out soon. But yeah, make sure you head over to Light Therapy Insiders and check out those articles and of course jump on the newsletter. Otherwise, check out this video. It's probably good. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.